Hello and welcome to this update from the Walk for Autism 2022 for the Inside the Orange podcast. Now in this episode, we're going to be talking about what we did for part of our training walk last time, a bit of an update. We're going to obviously give you links in the description and show notes for how to get in touch with the GoFundMe and how to support, uh, donate and share. And on, honestly, every every single bit of help and support is absolutely gratefully received. And we've got a message um, from Alex Reed, who's wished us luck on the walk. So um, this episode, we're just going to be talking about all those wonderful things. So people that have seen my Instagram page um, and follow me through that, you'll be able to see that we, well, I did a solo walk around Milton Keynes. We did uh, 17.96 miles, um, just as a bit of a kind of, to start the, the, the process of this, uh, this walk in. And it was great, it was successful. So I decided to invite my great friend and co-walker for the main walk for autism for Anna Kennedy online in May from uh, Leicester to Watford. I invited my good friend Godot to come and join me and we walked um, from Sixfield Stadium in Northampton, so Northampton Town's home stadium, and we walked down to Stadium MK. Um, we planned it as about 21 miles, it was about 22 and a half miles from that. And here's a few bits of, of how we got on. So we are well into the walk now. We're probably about three or four miles in. We've come to this beautiful village, it's Milton Mousor. Me and Godwin have both said we've never been through here before, we don't believe. Um, but it's just such a beautiful place. Look at that. Just so, ooh, an idiot at the wall. Just a lovely place to come and just what better way to spend a Sunday. We're doing this training walk for our Walk for Autism in May, as you guys are all aware. Um, we are under one mission, one mission only today, never give up. Given to me by Big John Cena fan, Little Orange, this morning to say, or before he went to bed last night, just to say, go and smash it, Dad. I've got Godo here, who obviously helps me smash it all the time. Uh, we've got some sheep in the field over here, just helping us out as well. But yeah, guys, we're just having a wonderful day, just chilling, lovely. Just go to the GoFundMe page if you can. Any pennies, even if you just share it so someone else can see it, everything helps and just help us get over that line. Oh, no. Right, Storm Eunice, he's still there. Right, there's a gap, I'm going. <laughs> Storm Eunice trying to affect our walk, but it ain't happening. So after walking from Sixfield Stadium in Northampton this morning, we are literally about a mile away from Stadium MK. I'd like to thank everyone on Twitter. You saw the start of Sixfield this morning. I've got this man with me, Team Godot. Hello, we're still going strong still here. Still going strong. Last bit to go, but thank you so much for your support. Everyone who's had a look and everything. This was given to me this morning by my son, Never Give Up. And this is exactly what we're doing. But thank you for all your support and all your care. Thanks so much, guys. Now, I can't thank Godo enough, especially that last couple of miles where my legs just didn't want to go anymore. And he was just such an amazing person to walk with because he just kept me going. He was absolutely brilliant. And we had a friend, uh, fantastic Dave Carmen, at the end of the walk, who just kind of just seeing his face at the end of the walk was lovely. Nothing against Godwin. It was lovely walking with him, but it's always good to have that support at the end from another face that you know and recognise. And honestly, it was just such a, a wonderful thing. And again, we, you know, we have some great support. We did some Instagram lives and some Facebook lives in the day. And it it just helps you go. It helps you keep going. It keeps the the engine going and all I ask for people when we're doing this main walk for autism in May um, is just please anything you know any support you can give any post any any share any like any comment any just words of encouragement are absolutely fantastic to receive and it's it's 
just fantastic to have. So a bit of an update for the GoFundMe. So we're currently on £225 raised from an £1,000 target. The link will be in the description and show notes. So please, please, please just have a look at that. Just anything you can donate. If you can't afford to donate or if, you know, I appreciate it might be difficult, then please share it. Just let someone else see it. And the more we get the message out, the more we can have more awareness of it and more um, more help from you guys other than just the donations. But please, please look at the uh, show notes and description. Grab that GoFundMe page. Have a look, have a share and please support as much as you can. So our great friends at Born Anxious are providing us with uniform to wear for the for the walk, much like I like to wear my strong dad's club uniform here. Um, so guys, have a look for us. I'll drop that when it comes out and how you can spot us on the way. And if people are interested, we might even raffle off another one just to, you know, raise a bit more money for it, just so you can feel part of the team. So, you know, again, please, please have a look out for that. Check out Born Anxious. As I say, they're a sensory clothing brand. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic messages on their clothing. And again, something at the podcast we've loved for so, so long. So have a look and, uh, yeah, just um, support Born Anxious. So I mentioned earlier on the support that we receive from people is, is an amazing thing. And I'm delighted to share. It was on our Instagram and Facebook recently that we had a, a message from Alex Reed. Um, he's recently been diagnosed with um, autism. He's on the autistic spectrum. And he sent us a wonderful message uh, of support and encouragement. And here it is. Hello, boys and girls. This is Alex Reed, And I'm wishing my friends, Richard and Goddo, great luck in their ne upcoming adventure, Walking for Autism. They're going to be walking 81 miles from the King Power Stadium in Leicester to the Vicarage Road Stadium in Watford. That's quite a feat. And I, who have just recently been diagnosed significantly on the autism spectrum, think this is great because we're raising awareness of, which some people I would say actually suffer, um, that there's a lot of unawareness. And me recently being diagnosed has made so much sense to all of those pitfalls I've had in my life, the trials and tribulations, and if I just had that knowledge a little bit earlier, might have been a bit easier for me. So let's raise awareness for everybody, and Richard and Goddo, good luck. So guys, yeah, please remember, this is about um, us getting into a place to walk um, in May. Now, this is the other bit as well. I have dropped it on a few other podcasts because I had the information given to me and I haven't actually updated on this one yet, but we are actually going to change the date one day forward. So we won't be finishing on match day. OK, that's due to obviously the health and safety of the players and making sure that everyone is safe, especially as we are still in an era where we are coming out of the COVID pandemic. So we do have to make sure that we are very safe and we're doing the right thing. So we've decided with the club that we're not going to be finishing within the Vicarage Road Stadium on the Sunday, but we will be finishing inside the Vicarage Road Stadium on the Saturday. So the walk has now moved from the 13th to the 15th to the 12th to the 14th. So the 12th of May to the 14th of May. So still the same, exactly the same thing. We've just moved it 24 hours earlier. We'll be starting in Leicester on the 12th. We'll be starting in Northampton on the 13th and we'll be starting in Leighton Buzzard on the 14th and again the finish points will be in Northampton, in Leighton and in Watford on the respective days. Okay so please guys just have a note of that just make sure again I'll add it to everything so you know where we are and what we're doing but this is just a as I said an updated video to say today what's going on and, and what we're doing. So as ever the best way to help support the podcast and to, to support what we're doing is by finding us and supporting and sharing. So this is where you can find us. So again, in the show notes and description, you'll find our GoFundMe page. Please have a look, have a share, have a donate, whatever you can do to help us raise some fantastic money and awareness for Anna Kennedy Online, it's who we're walking for. Anna's got an amazing autism charity and that is who we're supporting this year on this walk. So please have a look. Have a look at Anna's uh, website, you know, Anna Kennedy Online. Go and have a look and see what they do and what they do the great work that they do for, for so many other people. So to get in touch with us, so you can email us at insidethisorange at gmail.com. We've got a website, which is insidetheorange.co.uk, nice and simple. That has got links on there to be able to get to us on every platform. And it also does have links to the GoFundMe page, in, in the uh, email, everything that you need, you can get to 
on our website. We've got an Instagram page, which is inside the orange. We've got a Twitter page, which is at orange what? So orange, W-H-A-T-S, orange what's. There's the inside the orange Facebook page. You can find me on LinkedIn and you can also find me on TikTok. Few and far between videos there of this guy. But uh, that's how you can get in touch with a podcast. And again, guys, all we ask is just please look, please share, please donate, and please help us make the Walk for Autism 2022 an amazing, an amazing event. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye and take care.